the problem that stopped you is clear. It was a worst nightmare than you expected this weekend. See, I don't know. I mean, it's very difficult for us at the moment, for sure, uh, for the whole team. Um, yeah, uh, but we are in that position and uh, we need to try and do the best we can to, um, you know, to, to have a worthy ending of the season. Obviously, we still have lots of races ahead of us, uh, still a lot of stuff to, to pick up and understand. So, you know, there's plenty of work and we have to be focused on that. So, obviously, uh, if I could choose, then I don't want to be here. I want to be in the car on the track right now and not in the back of the field, but in the front. But sometimes, you know, you don't get to choose and uh, you have to uh, deal with what you have. And at the moment, that's what it is. And we have to uh, keep our head up, even if it's difficult. How sad he is, uh, considering that he was uh, your last race uh, with this color, this uh, um, year in yeah. Well, I'm, I don't know. I think this year is very different. I think probably in that regard, it's good that there are no fans. <laughs> um, but... Uh, you know, life is like this, so it always depends from where you're looking. And uh, I think even if at the moment professionally there are not many good things, you know, uh, there are always some, some positives. Um, so it's just a question on what you focus. Certainly it's tough for all of us because our main focus is the car, is the race, especially racing, racing in Monza. But um, yeah, we... Uh, we have to keep our head up and, uh, and look forward to next week um, and uh, look at the you know, positives, even if there are very few. But speaking about next week, are you able to imagine something uh, different, something better for the second I home used, race for yeah, Ferrari? It's clear in terms of expectations. You see where we are. It's not uh, that we can ex expect an awful lot. But, uh, you know, I think the last races we struggled a little bit to, to make the car work 100%. Um, maybe in, and I hope in Mugello we are in a little bit better place, but that doesn't mean that we're fighting for the podium. So you need to be realistic. Expectations are very low, um, but you know, hopefully uh, we have a smooth weekend and uh, yeah, a weekend without trouble. That would be a good start, at least on my side. And then uh, we'll see. Grazie. Niente. Ciao. Charles, just tell us what happened. Well, I just, I just lost the car. Uh, it's, uh, it's my fault. I was a very difficult race to be honest. I, I struggled quite a lot on the first set. Then I thought we were unlucky with the safety car, but with the pit lane closed, we were actually pretty lucky. And then with the hard tires, I, I, I struggled massively. So I, I tried to push, but I've lost it uh, in Parabolica and crashed. Mathieu, in what's been a, a difficult season already, is this the lowest point today? Uh, certainly, that's the worst conclusion of a difficult weekend. Not finishing the race, it's even worse than bad performing especially on set, which is a reliability issue of the car. So I think it's, uh, it's time really to look forward. I think all these problems is for us lesson learned and uh, make sure that in the future uh, we are progressing and doing better. Is this particularly bad for this track? Do you see a way forward going to other circuits? Do you see any improvements at other circuits? Uh, certainly we know that Spa and Monza would have been difficult for us, so um, the, the, the worst one. Hopefully the next one can be a bit better, but at the end I think the performance of the current car is certainly not what we, we would like. And, uh, um, but again, I think it's uh, more important for us to make sure that looking ahead and progressing with the car developments.